What is up guys? It's Nick. Um, if I record another one of these videos and it deletes it before I can even upload it, I'm gonna freak out. Uh, just wanted to touch base, you know, to be even shorter. The last one was about 15 minutes, um, but of course I don't have a ton of time before I hit the road again. So just wanted to record this quick and kind of let you guys know what I'm seeing for the week. Um, as always, I'm not a financial advisor. I do hold a few series within the industry. Um, not currently sponsored by a firm, so this is just my educated opinion on certain viewpoints um, tonight, particularly in regards to AMC. So kind of mentioned last week that that weekly candle was a huge one for me. So we'll hop into that, cover some micro um, and then expectations for this week. So just to get into it real quick, um, extremely good close on Friday. I, I know that like a 61 cent day doesn't seem like a lot, uh, but that's kind of what happens when you carve out bottoms and institutions want to um, accumulate shares or go out and tweet saying they uh, enjoyed going to the theaters when they have been clearly bashing it all year over 52 weeks um, but yeah thanks Citadel that was, that was a nice candle for you um, I hope you enjoyed that one and, and appreciate the the free advertisement there so outside of that uh, big retracement pulled the supply um, just as I've been saying that's what market makers do uh, in order to basically control breakouts um, best that they can. And when you got people like CBOE, Chicago Board of Options Exchange, just kind of, oh, we're, we're just going to suspend routing for a good 15, 20 minutes right after this breakout. So we're just going to suspend derivatives. We're one of the biggest um, option boards in the country, but let's just suspend uh, derivatives only to NYSE, nothing else. Um, input error whatever anyways uh different story different day but anyways that uh definitely affected some of this brought it down and then you can only park orders for so long last 30 minutes to 15 minutes we get our explosion up back into this channel um and then close right below the 50 which is huge broke over it um broke over this green line too uh which was just a good confirmation line on, on a breakout but of course they shorted it down Hold the supply once again carved it out in the last 15 to 30 minutes we shot back up so interesting after hours 12 20 uh there's a lot of stuff that goes into the into this here but um i'll cover the macro real quick just so you guys can see what i was talking about so here's 10 year one week again these are the same lines we we're just looking at the green yellow uh micro chart lines so 1776 1884 just some key figures for me um, and then if you look into this here, I got OBB down here. One second, get this pulled up. Okay, well, this is just supposed to be on here, saying this is the same as this. This line is about here, which crazy, crazy stuff. But I told you they were stretching the tape. Well, that that's a tape stretch for you. Looks like a very elongated movement, almost identical to this. Um, this was just like a month long. This is about three months long, two months long. Um, we got a nice relief right there. Same with here. That was your nice push off of 895 up to 1450. Um, so different percentages, of course, but it just shows you they can stretch the tape, compress it, um, or even f almost flip it. If you look at this movement, that's basically what that is, is flipped over, which is so crazy. Um, so that's why I, I, I'm not a big fractal guy. I don't really go off of um, bars patterns necessarily. OBV is what I track um, for something like this. But um, I haven't moved these candles or um, sorry, these lines since. But if you look at this, and I about freaked out when I saw this on Friday because I wasn't at my computer most of the day. Um, we closed right above this, like the full body. If you look at my last video, I mentioned that we were closing underneath here. This was a big close because we need to close above this macro trend line. It goes back to pre run up. That's a rising support here. And they just push us off the top of this macro wedge. Sorry about that. Um, they push us off the top of this macro wedge into this zone here. That was just so aggressive. Um, push us off the top of this macro wedge into the bottom of it and then pressed up and closed above it. So massive weekly close, literally couldn't be lower, but I mean, I'll take it. We don't need to close above max pain. That's a whole different story. 
um, for a different video. Got a lot of, uh, kind of a lot of um, interesting takes on that. I, I'm not a huge fan of the whole Max Payne thing, but I do like to kind of just like emphasize that it, it, it's not the end of the world. Obviously they close beneath it, but I'm not gonna let some Stonko tracker site tell me what they can and can't close above, because in the end of the day, like, the market's gonna do what it wants. So, of course, market makers play a big control of that as they control a lot of the volume, um, but it's, it's not something that I lose sleep over or think that we lost because we didn't close above it, so. Um, that's kind of the macro, massive, massive close. So I'm expecting some big movements this week. Um, kind of hop into that real quick and then uh, we'll wrap it up because I do not have a ton of time tonight. But um, 20 day one hour, I did want to show you guys this real quick too, is the four hour. Um, these circles are in regards to the 1884. So Louisville Slugger, Adam Aarons had a few tweets about it. Not a huge conspiracy guy, but I mean, I'm not going to discredit um, something that, that interests me. Like, you know what I mean? Like a lot of this stuff could be just ghost writers. I don't think AA is that smart. I do like him. Um, but the 1884 is just too significant of a line for me. And I showed you on that macro um, how far it goes back. So. Here's our first true break of 1884, trying to get back into the macro wedge. Uh, shorter to sunder, same thing. They used that 200 to kind of suppress it back down um, and short it off the top once I got it under the 50. So anytime we're above the 50, we're dangerous. Um, but here's the third one, break over 1884, held it, retraced, consolidated, and broke just straight through the macro wedge. Um, so when this does go, this movement right here is eerily similar to this right here. So you go up, consolidate, consolidate, and then maybe one more day, and then we'll break out of this macro wedge again. So this is one, two, three. Obviously we're a bit away from that fourth break on the 1884, but I promise you it's gonna be something nasty like this. So what I suspect is a similar movement to this kind of starting Maybe not tomorrow. We might have a consolidation day again, um, or or close right under the 50 on the four hour, which is like $13, 12.50 range. So somewhere between there tomorrow, and then Tuesday and when? No, um, yeah, Tuesday is your delivery off of Friday. So Tuesday could bring some fireworks, kind of a break over that 50, maybe something kind of like this, where we break here, break here, and um, we want to close like maybe 1450-ish on Tuesday, or we could close right underneath the macro wedge. But Wednesday and Thursday is when I'm really excited about this model, which is awesome because it's right, be right before your 520 expiration. So I'm calling for anything between an 1884 close, or not close, sorry, 1884 breakout up to 22.5 this week. Um, off of this break whenever this does go we'll test that 200 maybe come down and then Thursday go or it could be sped up and we could be doing this by Wednesday so just some a um, little bit broader movements but on the four hour four to probably a, f a f four to eight maybe ten percent day tomorrow I'll accept anything more than that of course um, but nothing too wild tomorrow then the fun will start kind of Tuesday Wednesday Thursday is, is when we're really gonna get our movements so Calling for 1776, or if we want to break the 1884, 1884 to 22.5 range will hit this week, in my opinion. Um, if we break 22.5, just know with the VPR, like we're going straight up to 28. So 28 is very possible based on what books he's saying. Um, I agree with him. It, it's just going to take the right market dynamic too, as well. Like if, if the cues are ripping or if tech is getting a rotation uh, I think AMC seems to like those um, so we could get that micro pump I would like to break 22.5 and test 28.5 or 28 yeah about 28.5 range because that way we can get through this VPR kind of build up some more volume here we'll break 22.5 hit 28.5 and then retrace maybe all the way back down to 22.5 I don't know if we need to go that deep but we do need to fill some VPR in this range so Really what I want this week is an 1884 to 22.5 close. Somewhere in between there would, would be phenomenal. Um, 
So that's what I'm looking at. And then if we want to break out and markets are moving quick, like we could test 28. But um, really think if, if we break 28, obviously you got 34, um, 33 range that we've all been talking about. So just taking it day by day, I wanted to hop in, tell you what I'm looking at here. Um, I'm in the Discord almost almost daily in the live trading section where I stream my screen, um, chat with Rico. Uh, he's, he's just put together like a really good community uh, to focus on improvement, knowledge building, and then application of that knowledge. Because people always say knowledge is power, but that power is only given if you apply the knowledge taken. So big thing there is kind of something we stress, uh, trading off of logic, not emotions, not Russian trades. Um, a lot of good stuff in there. So slight plug, but had to put it in there that a lot of this uh, between the lines reading stuff can, can be clarified within there because I'm in live answering questions or constantly in the chat. So check it out. I'll, I'll put it in the description below and um, yeah, we'll see what this week brings, but I'm, I'm really, really hopeful for some big movements finally rotating in our direction. Something very similar to this movement here, followed by something like this next week. So Appreciate you tuning in, um, like, subscribe, and uh, have a good trading week, guys.